Hey, what's up and welcome to One Piece. This is episode 560, 561, 562, and 563. Um, what do I have to say at the start of this video? I'm recording this video. I don't watch One Piece in the morning. It's not actually the morning. I wake up late. I wake up in the afternoon. So it's the morning for me. Like soon after I wake up, I don't normally watch One Piece. Normally I watch One Piece towards the end of the day. But today I'm I'm recording at least one episode um, as soon as I wake up just to help my schedule a little bit. So, um, so this is like, I'm watching One Piece on a fresh, like fresh brain, a brain that ha hasn't been tainted by the happenings of the day. I don't know, I don't think that's going to affect my viewing experience, really. I guess the only difference is I'm probably going to be hungry while watching this episode, but that's fine. It'll be fine. So hopefully there's no, like, massive food-related plot lines going on. You know, maybe Sanji can take a backseat for an episode just in case he starts talking about food and then I get hungry. But, um, I'm excited to jump into this. Um, we've had some decently cool progressions in how this battle's going and, um, how everything's playing out. I'm curious to see exactly uh how Oda takes these these storylines and like you know is, are we gonna f have the like Luffy Horty fight which I imagine is is incoming is that gonna be now like like the proper fight starts you know like there's a lot of like false starts to a fight like this um and we've already had them start to fight but I feel like there's often a time where they start fighting, and this is like the the start of the actual fight that's gonna determine the arc. But I mean, it does seem like Luffy is stronger than Horty for sure. Luffy's way better than Horty, but it's a matter of like, is Horty going to have the advantage in the battle because of factors outside of Luffy's control? Let's see. So uh, let's jump into the episode. Make sure to support the video if you can. Liking the video, commenting down below, subscribing to the channel. That stuff helps me out a lot. I'm a small channel. Um, so please make sure to assist me in any way that you can. And go to my Patreon account for full length, early access and exclusive videos. You can get the next 20 or so episodes on my Patreon account right now. Which means we're surely definitely in the next arc on my Patreon account right now. So go check that out. But otherwise, let's jump into this episode. This is episode 560 of... Of one Piece. Woo! Okay, recap Rubik's. If you're new to this channel, this is a Rubik's Cube that I do while the recap is going on, and my goal is to beat the recap. Alright, that's the cube complete. Oof. Forgot about that. <laughs> okay, alright. Woo! What's gonna happen? Is Vanadekin actually like fully dead? I I mean like Vanadekin hasn't really showed himself to be like a strong fighter. So it does make sense if none of us end up fighting him and he just dies here. Oh my god, you squirt. Oh. Oh, damn. <laughs> so he's lost his mark. ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、
Oh my god, he's so fast. Oh, don't grab her hair! Shirohoshi, you gotta cut it. <laughs> I think you could pull off a, uh, a short haired look. Oh. Here we go! Oh shit. Snake shot? What the fuck? What the fuck is this? Oh! How did snake shot, like, what was the deal with that? <laughs> That's just cheerleaders. Mm. It's a decent plan. Yeah, fight with your life on the line. <laughs> 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 no! He doesn't need it! That's so not needed! Just disappears in there. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> Oh my god, really? One worked on his whole body? That's crazy. <laughs> oh, come on, Kraken. Oh! No? Bad aim. <laughs> Oh shit. I feel like he's got it. I feel like he's got it. Come on, Jinbei. Nice. Damn. <laughs> looks like his energy steroid wore off by the looks of it. <laughs> <laughs> Agreed. You gotta do a flame flame leg. Devil's kick. Devil foot. What's it called? Devil foot. <laughs> Damn, Jimbei and Sanji teaming up. This is interesting. Hell yeah, Nika Robin! <laughs> Just bitch slap them. <laughs> oh no. Yozo is having energy steroids. He's having a plate of them? Oh my god. What the fuck? I don't remember you. Who are you? <laughs> nice Zoro. I kind of love shirtless Zoro. I know I've said that Nami should have a little more clothes on, so it's a double standard for me to say, but Zoro should stay shirtless sometimes. Nuru. Oh my god. He's gonna have fatter tentacles? Are they gaining muscles? Come on, Zoro, fuck this guy up. This guy's nothing to you. <laughs> what the heck? This isn't swordsmanship. I don't think that's true. I think he can defend. That's that's your imagination of what's gonna happen. Oh, nice! Cut the bulb. <laughs> Just two little cuts. <laughs> That's awesome. Did Zoro really do the Hawkeye thing of like, I'm keeping you alive so that you can get better? Oh, okay, here we go. Oh my god, this dude's just cutting through everyone. Oh yeah, that's what right. That's one of the things that he does when he's drunk. He's indiscriminate. 
I'm kind of keen about this, though, this battle. Assuming they're setting up Zoro and Hyozo now. <laughs> you see all the bitch slapping? No, stay away from Robin! Come on, Zoro. Yes! <laughs> he is. Here we fucking go. I don't think Robin minds. Ooh. Yeah, that's true. Oh, you have not seen what Luffy's gone through. He can protect them and they can protect themselves. It's great. <laughs> That's why you trained. Yep. Very nice episode. So Luffy has gum gum snake shot and his hand goes and then he grabs them and then there's a like a zap or something. Like, I wonder what exactly that is because it feels like he was doing that because his attacks aren't great in water. Like if he does a regular gum gum uh, you know, pistol or gum gum bullet or something, you know, um, like, okay, it penetrates through the bubble and then as it's going through the water, I imagine it gets weaker and weaker because he, he you know, the sea hates him. And so probably when it gets to, um, to Horty, maybe even still if it's Haki infused, it's still, it's like way weaker than it should be. But maybe there's something about snake shot where it's like, He's he's focusing more on accuracy with that. Like I'm just gonna find your your point, grab you, and then maybe just it's just like a hockey squeeze. I don't know. <laughs> like that that feels like that could make sense, right? Like that you just infuse your hand with hockey and you just go Ugh, like that. But I don't know. Um, and Vanadekin I think is dead. I think he's just dead because. He fell all that way, right? But then also they had the axe that was going doo -doo 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 through the air and that was like tracking its target, I think. And I and then after he like fell and hit the ground, the axe sort of fell as well. And so I think that was implying he's dead because then his um his devil's fruit turned off essentially. Where maybe if he was just unconscious it would still keep going. I I'm guessing, but I don't know that for sure. That's just kind of what I'm getting from that scene. Um, because a lot of the time, I, I feel like in shows like this, you need a way to signify, especially in One Piece, you need a way to signify that this character died. <laughs> so they did it with Ace, with the um, v Free card burning out. But I think it, it's possible at this point, Oda now knows his reputation. I mean, he almost definitely knows his reputation at this point in the show for like not killing off characters. So maybe it's just like he wants to show when the characters killed off. But I also wouldn't be surprised if in three episodes time, Vanderdecken stands up and there's more of him. I, I really wouldn't be shocked at all. Um, so uh, Wadatsumi is fighting with... Um, uh, Jimbei and Sanji, which that's kind of a cool matchup. I do like that, especially since I feel like Jimbei, I think Jimbei could have been like a good teacher for Sanji because he, I feel like Jimbei is such a respectful guy. He would keep him in line and then also he would, um, uh, uh he like would be able to train him with some interesting moves. I mean, I guess, you know, it's like, they, they don't really have compatible styles necessarily. Like, I don't think, you know, I don't think a non-fishman can learn fishman karate. And that's most of what Jimbe uses. So, it's not like I think he would be able to teach him necessarily a move set, But I feel like he'd be able to teach him in the ways of fighting someone. Does that make sense? I feel like he'd be able to give him some wisdom that he really needs that would help when it comes down to a fight because Jinbei has a lot of wisdom to him and it's great but what I've really been waiting for is this Yozo versus Zoro fight and now it seems like yeah they've powered up Yozo now Zoro is hyped about it he he said to Robin like hey don't worry about this guy he's mine which means he's hyped up for this fight and he got it like a training match for before they get to the new world which is very exciting to me and it's also exciting and now that I'm thinking about it like I, I can't wait to reach new world stuff like actually for them to actually start going onto islands in the new world because this 
right now isn't technically the new world, right? Like, they've said that's where they're going, but Fishman Island, we were going to... Like, I... Fishman Island, I feel like because it's like underwater and stuff, it's not technically in the new world. So I think this is just like a midway point. Like this is a, you know, in stuff like Genshin Impact and stuff, when you reach a certain level and then you need to do a trial to see if you can level up the whole world. I feel like it's like that, you know, you do an ascension, ascension quest or whatever. Um, and it's like, it's basically testing like, are you strong enough? You know, th this is the base level of enemies that you're gonna be fighting. If you're too weak for this, then you won't be able to do it. So like, this is the Straw Hats test to see if they can move on to the new world. And I think they're passing it with flying colors. Uh, but yeah, anyway, let's move on to the next episode. This is episode 561. Here we go. It's me, sunshine. Recap, Rubik's. Alright, that's the cube complete. Let's see if we can do the second cube. I don't know how much time is left in this recap. But once again, if you're new to the channel, I have two cubes. If I complete them both, it's called a two cube cap. I'm not going to complete them both because that's the title. Damn it! That's fine. No, that's good. I mean, I want there to be shorter recaps. So this is good. I get caught up in the competition, sometimes I forget the reason I'm doing it, it's to kill time. <laughs> mm -hmm. Wait. Okay, well, never mind what I was saying in the last discussion. <laughs> this man's breathing. But I guess that happened because he lost consciousness. See, they did say die or lose consciousness. Actually, now that I think about it, I bet Deccan's the only one who can stop this from happening. So I wonder if Deccan will join our side now. Oh shit! Hell yeah! Oh, honestly, his... His air walking is fucking sick. <laughs> yeah, baby. She'll be fine. She's gonna strike him with lightning. Black ball. Looks like they could just be thunderclouds. <laughs> she had such a small mouth when she said that. Aww. Yeah, they're thunderclouds. <laughs> so are these focused clouds? Like she... She's making sure to only shock them, yeah. Cool. So she's learned more control of her powers. Oh no. Are they saying go after Nami? Shit. I mean, yeah, she might be our weak link, but... But you'll just make Sanji even madder and he'll kill you. Shit, man. What's with Nami and being touched by invisible people? Come on, Brooke! Come on, Brooke! Yes! <laughs> he gets punched by Nami at the same time. Uh, what fluid? Oh my god, he's going crazy. <laughs> I forgot! <laughs> I forgot that Frankie was in a giant mech suit right now. Oh my god! No hesitation. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> he, he, yeah, he always pretends it's all part of... <laughs> yeah. This is like the... Um, in Kung Pao. What was it? My face, your fist style. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Chopper. Man, Hori's group do not work together well in the slightest. 
They're all so selfish that they never think about how they're fucking each other's plans over. Yes. Oh, here we go! Oh. Usopp trusted him, that was great. Oh. Now, now that he's trapped in there, he's trapped in the tunnels. Ooh, baby! That's a fun plan. Cool. That's true, they did. I remember. Mm -hmm. Rumble Ball! <laughs> oh no. Energy steroid, here we go. Come on, Usopp, you got this. Alright, get to praying. This guy's like Einstein. An Einstein fish. There's a few clear slow bits of pacing in this episode where there are long silences. Oh, oh god damn, man. Oh, don't slice him up! Jesus. Come on, Fuga, Fuga Boshi. Is that his name? <laughs> yeah, Fuga Boshi. Mm -hmm. As fast as you fucking can, dude. Oh, God. Now he's delaying us. Did it, did it reach her? Oh! Nice! Yes! <laughs> Come on, Luffy! Grab him! Yes! Pull him back! <laughs> He's got strong hands even in water. Ah, uh, since Tekken's staying alive. It's funny, we actually have to root for Deccan to stay alive right now. To save people. You're doing great, Shirohoshi! Mm -hmm. Oh, I remember it. <laughs> okay. Oh, he's throwing the axe at, at Hori. This is what happens when you fuck people over constantly, Hori. Yeah! Ooh. Ooh, that's a cool shot. Oh, I like this. I know they're just, like, stalling for time, but it looks great, so I don't mind. Oh, to be, oh, no, not to be continued. Come on, man, you moved to the fucking Noah. You can move your axe. <laughs> Just push it a little bit like you did with the Noah. Is he dead? I think he died. But I thought he died last episode, so what the fuck do I know? Yeah, at the very least he's unconscious. <laughs> Shit, man. <laughs> Shit. Aw, <Aww>, sure. <laughs> Aw. It's a pretty good evil laugh, to be honest. <laughs> Alright, we're in pretty big trouble now. I wonder how... How we stop the Noah. Because, like, the only person who could move it was, was Vanderdecken. Assuming he's out of the fight, like assuming he's either unconscious for the remainder of this arc or dead, um, then like he can't stop it. Like it's a huge fucking thing. I guess you have like Surame and um, uh, Wadatsumi who are like, you know, huge. 
so they can maybe help you know if they don't want to die and then maybe like i don't know is it going to be a thing where it's like everyone has to work together to to stop it or is it going to be a thing where like one person does an insane move like luffy busts out something we haven't seen him do before that stops it you know like maybe he does like a gum gum uh like parachute or whatever something that just stretches his body to an insane degree and he like wraps his body very thinly around the entire thing and like pulls it like st slowly slows its fall um like a um what's it called you know you know when you have the sort of tarps that you use that when people need to jump out of buildings bur burning buildings or whatever they land like Maybe on like a like trampoline type thing, soft something soft that slows their fall. Uh, like if Luffy could somehow do that and stretch his body so thinly that he could like he could completely stop that. But it would have to stretch him so thinly that it would it would be near killing him. You know, um, that's just you know that's my attempt at making a um, making a guess. But that, he would also have to be doing that in the water. Oh, I guess I guess not because there's like. There's Fishman Island, which is in a bubble, and then there's, like, bubbles in between as well. So there's some time where you can, like, start penetrating the bubble, and he can be, like, on the air side of things, maybe. Um, but regardless, it would be fucking insane if he could do anything like that, you know? But it's, like, if all of the princes... If you had, like, the princes holding one limb of Luffy each, and then Shirahoshi holding one limb of Luffy... And then they all just like hold him like a top. <laughs> that would be kind of weird, but I think it would be kind of cool. That's me trying my best to predict what the fuck's gonna happen because I really don't know. I don't know how else you could, how else you could stop it unless you had Vanderdeck and wake up and then throw the Noah at um uh fucking Horty, right? And then Horty's trying to get away from it and gets crushed by the Noah or something, something like that. I don't know. Um, but yeah, anyway, that's, I think that's all I had to talk about. I only had one note for this episode, and that was about the Noah. Um, but I, I did like this episode, I thought it was fun. So, let's move on to the next one. This is episode 562. Here we go. Break up romance. Oh! Okay. Recap Rubik's. Here we go. Yeah! Alright, that's the cube complete. Bada! Oh, don't look! Don't look! Oh, it just came up quickly. The title just assaulted me. I didn't expect it. Oh, God. Wait, actually! Well, you can summon sea kings maybe to stop, stop them. I just realized. Maybe if you have enough sea kings, they'd be able to do it. Mm. Oh, that's right. There's more to the Noah, right? Okay. There's a pretty massive ship. Damn. I mean, they keep saying, like, until the day comes. Is that implying, like, a great flood, like, in the Bible? No, he can do it! Oh, but you can't do that! Yeah, if you can get him. That's what I was saying. Oh, we see it, buddy. Oh. Once again, voice actress is good at screaming. Please let it come up to me. She'd rather risk being crushed by the Noah herself. No! Nice! I don't remember if you're Ryuboshi or Manboshi, but... Manboshi. Ryuboshi? No, this one's just Luffy. Yes! Oh, Jesus, Horty! Oh, he's like, I don't give a fuck. Bite me as much as you want. Careful! 
<laughs> Correct. <laughs> you need more air. It's gonna grow back like, like our lungs, of course. He can beat you. Let's meet on land, motherfucker. <laughs> Try to beat me there. Snake shot again. Damn. Oh my god. What? What do you mean by that? Pick him up and hug him. Oh my gosh. Fukuboshi gives me the vibe of he's gonna sacrifice himself. Oh! Yay! You handled him. <laughs> Fuck you, dude. He's got this. He's got this. Come on. Merman combat. Damn, he's throwing water in water. This is water, but stronger. Oh. Oh. Jeez, man. It's getting pretty close. Holy shit. Oh. Come on. Yes. He's up, baby. Yeah. That's true. Mm. He's trying to get his backstory out of him. Mm. Nothing. <laughs> what? Is that... Was that him speaking? That we just didn't hear it? Oh. What? What? What shocked... Oh my god! What shocked him so much? What the fuck? Oh my god. She said she'd handle you no matter what. She's keeping her promise. This family's good at keeping their promises. Oh, getting a phone call. A large amount of air. Yeah. He's gonna fight where he has an advantage. Okay, so what's the large amount of air? You're gonna create a place where Luffy can fight him? Makes sense. Oh my god, the whole Noah? Uh-huh. You guys got this. Your pros. Okay. <laughs> I can handle anything as long as it's there. If I can breathe, I can kill it. Oh! <laughs> Hell yeah! Nice! Nice! Oh my god, he's taking more? My man. Jeez. Man, this shit's gonna kill him even if he does win. So short-sighted, like, he wins this battle, he dies tomorrow. Oh, I like how she's constantly cupping him. You got this, you got this, guys. Who he really is? What do you mean you found out who he really is? Who is he really? They're gonna leave- uh, What? I found out who Hordy really is. What? What could that be? <laughs> I'm trying to like figure it out in my mind. Like, what What kind of twists would, would there be with Hordy? Like... First thought, he's really Arlong, because they're both, 
you know, similar shark fishmen, that'd be a good reason that they look similar and have a similar vibe to them. Um, but I don't know if that makes sense because Hordy and Darlong, like we've been, we've sort of seen sort of both of them in these backstories and stuff, right? And so I don't know like what the deal with that would be. But then what else, you know, is he someone's... Is he someone's son, daughter? Like, is he like a some sort of weird royalty? Is he like what? What is it? You know, and it's something that makes him hate humans. I think. Whatever it is. Um. I don't know. Maybe he's another one of Gold Roger's sons. <laughs> that would be quite the twist. Horty is Gold Roger's son. We find out in every arc someone knew who Gold Roger had a, had a child somewhere and left behind. Um, oh, man. Yeah, cool episode. I did. I liked that one quite a lot, actually. That one was really good. That one felt quicker. I mean, if last episode, you know, the pace slowed down a little bit. Last episode had some good good moments as well but the pace was slower it felt like there was so many more moments where I could tell they were like extending it out but this episode I felt I didn't feel that at all I felt like that this was um a pretty well paced episode um man I do love Fukuboshi and he's fighting hard he's fighting really hard right now but he's also I mean it's crazy I I don't get the vibe that these princes like we don't get to see them be very strong which is kind of a shame because I think they're supposed to be at least kind of strong, you know? They're supposed to be some of the better warriors of Fishman Island, I think. Um, but we don't get to see them fight people who aren't a roided up horty. So because of that, we don't get to, like, you know, be hyped for their battles. It's like they, they actually come off as looking quite weak. But they at least come off looking very determined. And I respect that about them. So I don't mind that too much. Um, but it would be cool if we got to see them being really awesome in fights as well. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, I don't have much else to say. I think, I think we're going to move right along to the next one because I'm curious. I hope they reveal this haughty thing in the next episode. Otherwise, I, otherwise it's going to leave my mind and I'm not going to know what to think. Let's just, just move on. This is episode 563 of One Piece. Here we go. Okay. Recap Rubik's. Here we go. And that is the cube complete. I'm going to try to do the second cube. I wasn't going to, but they have the potential to make this a really long recap. And that is the second cube complete. That was a two cube cap. A two cube recap. And now it's gonna be the title. And the title of this episode is gonna be Hordy Jones Identity Revealed. It's gonna be longer than that. I don't know what it's gonna be though. Hordy Jones Identity Revealed. Is he really Shirohoshi's child? <laughs> okay, so now we're going back in time. So we're not gonna get the we're probably not going to get the revelation this episode. That'll be in a couple episodes time or some shit. Yeah! Burn a shin! Oh god! It's like Luffy. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, it's like helium. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> Good job, Sanji. He's not gonna hold it against you. Okay. Good. Have some more assistance. How much can they do? I don't know. Hell yeah, man. Yeah, these slaves. Oh my god, this fucking dude. I forgot about him. <laughs> By the way, oh my god. I'll talk about it later. Oh god, that's awful. 
Onika and Robin actually wearing her sunglasses now. <laughs> Please do. <laughs> I kind of like the glasses on her. It works nicely for the design. Nice. <laughs> You're free! Go for it! <laughs> oh! Oh! Really? Have we ever heard Nigga Robin call someone handsome before? Oh shit! She can just do that now! Whoa! Oh my gosh! Jesus, this is creepy! Oh! Jeez! It's a fucking wrestling move! I want her to anime monologue me what her power is doing right now. I can sort of. I have my own guesses, but I'd like her to just confirm it. Oh shit. Okay. So what the fuck is the plan? Nika Robin's got her books, that's her intro. Now I want them to come back and talk about Horty again. Who the hell is Horty? They're not gonna do it. They're not gonna do it with this episode. I'm gonna have to wait. <laughs> Yeah, they are. <laughs> the kids on this island are very pure, and that's probably because of Otohime making sure they stay pure. <laughs> Wait, they were broadcasting this as well? They weren't just talking in... to the thing? Oh god, so are they gonna hear the Horty thing? Like, is everyone gonna hear wh whoever Horty is? The trust. So much trust. Yeah, but get to the Horty thing! I need to hear it! I need to! Yeah, here we go. Here we go, come on! They have to tell me before the end of this episode. They have to. Come on. What if it's gonna be a reveal that I'm gonna be like, who? And then that'll be it. Uh-huh. What? What does that mean? Yeah, I'm with you, Nami. From an ancient grudge. What does that mean? Uh huh. Yeah, I mean, I kind of got that vibe. So I, is the revelation just that they're just pure extremists? Nothing. Yeah. <laughs> It's just hatred. No backstory to justify it. Chosen by heaven. Oh, Jesus. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, God. I mean, that's actually kind of terrifying. Interesting. Okay. Interesting. So that's not the reveal I thought it was going to be. But I'm kind of into it just in, I, I think, you know, framing it, ha spending uh, the whole episode building up to the reveal maybe was strange, I guess. But, um, but I kind of like it because it, it wasn't really a reveal. In fact, the reveal was that there was no reveal, you know, um, but I think it actually does serve its purpose quite nicely thematically when you're thinking about this arc because like the whole I found out who Horty Jones really is 
And then us as viewers start to go, oh my God, who is he? And try to like figure it out and like what could have been done to him in the past. Um, and then he says nothing. They didn't do anything to me. Like the idea is like, oh, well, I mean, there's, there's several things you can take from that, but like, it is true. Like there is sometimes just hatred in the world. And I, I actually do think the idea of like, this is a villain who we're not even going to try to justify his actions in the slightest, you know? Like, this is a villain who is pure hatred down to its core, born from the hatred that, like, the the, the sort of, like, um, the hatred that the, the world has for each other and for their differences. I do think it actually works nicely, especially if you're you're looking at the themes of this arc. And the most obvious theme of this arc is racism, right? That's the that's the clear link that you can draw to um, to our world and how it would relate to our world. So, um, if you're looking at it in terms of racism, that like, if you have this character Horty, who's like premier racist, like clear, obvious, you know, racist, um, who is holding these grudges for a long time. He is at the point where, like, what... I think... Okay, no, I'm kind of figuring out my point as I'm saying it. <laughs> but I think what it is, is it's tying actually into the themes of children and passing down whatever. Because we, if we pass down our love... And if we pass down acceptance and stuff, even though we feel the anger, people like Fisher Tiger and Otohime want to make sure to not pass that that anger down to their children and instead pass on love and acceptance and stuff so that the future can be stronger for that. Even though we hold grudges, we don't pass those grudges down to people. And now we are seeing the result of if you don't follow what Fisher Tiger and Otohime were um, saying, which is... Hordy Jones and his crew and stuff, they had the grudges passed down to them. And they do not have the actual experience that, like, that makes them hate humans. It, they don't have, you know, they don't have this thing that points back to, uh, that they can point back to and go, like, well, here's, here's what humans did to me and this is why I hate them and this is why I'm justified in hating them. They just got the grudge. And this is what happens when you pass down your hatred and your bias and your um, your disgust towards your children instead of facilitating them to be more accepting. I actually think that works really, really nicely within the themes. It took me a second while I was watching it for it to click for me. And it took me during this discussion, I mean, you saw me figure out the theme in real time, but I think that's it. I think that's what we're hidden here, because I, Oda is really playing with that idea of passing things down to your children, and I, I love that. I think that's a beautiful theme. I mean, I'm someone who is very much about, like, redemption and, and humanity and, like, sort of supporting humanity, and, and also I do care a lot about, like, younger generations. I do think that younger people should be um, treated well <laughs> and like and taught to treat others well but like and by that I also mean like stop talking about how annoying kids are <laughs> stop um, stop talking about how cringy all the things that kids do these days or or like or whining about how you know oh they're not they're not working hard enough or they're too sensitive or they're whatever blah 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 like, I think just pass on our, our support to them and they'll figure it out. Like, as long as the kids have the support that they need, I truly think that they will create something better. And I think we, we will constantly be improving as long as we keep passing down love. So I think this is a, like a cool theme that he's playing with here. It's, it's a really interesting way to deliver it. I wonder if people, were people like pissed off at this this sort of twist, you know? I don't know. I feel like it could go either way. This could either be, like, something that a lot of the fan base is like, okay, well, that was lame, that was boring, who cares, you know? Or it could be something that people go like, oh, wow, that was, that's actually, like, a cool, cool theme. Or it could be something in the middle. It could be, like, very split on what people feel about this. 
But me personally, I actually, I really like that now the more that I'm thinking about it. I think it's really cool. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I mean, I guess as a reactor, there's part of me that wishes it was a, a huge twist moment where it's like, oh, Horty Jones is actually Arlong in disguise or some shit. And then I'm like, whoa, what? And then they like reveal it. And then, you know, I get a good reaction video out of it. Obviously, that didn't happen here. <laughs> but um, but as a as a writer and as a uh, a lover of media and of the themes that they're setting up here, I think it was well done. So um, that is One Piece episodes five whatever to five whatever uh, five sixty to five sixty three. Man, we're in the in the five sixties. It kind of only just hit me. I thought we were early five hundred still. My God. Um, anyway, thank you for joining me. Make sure to support the video if you can liking the video, commenting down below, subscribing to the channel, and go to my Patreon account if you want the full-length reaction, as well as early access and exclusive videos. You can get the next 20 or so episodes on there right now. You can also join my YouTube membership down below to get two edited videos early and get so much extra content. It's really worth it. But thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.